Hello again, fish a lot. So if you have a small trailer and you're trying to back it up, it's inevitably gonna move all over the place on you because it is a small trailer, something like that. So here's my 136 autopilot uh, Old Town kayak. And you could tell that trailer is very small. And in terms of boats go, this Old Town is also very small. So I actually can't see that even in this little escape in my rear view mirror. So the best thing to do is open up your trunk. There you go, I got my trunk open. I can see right in the back here. So I have clear line of sight to my kayak at all times and it just makes it so much easier to back it into the boat ramp. So all right, let me show you how to do it. All right, so when you get into the car, what you wanna do is you wanna hold it right there on the bottom part of the wheel. This way you don't overcompensate when that little kayak of yours or that little trailer of yours starts to jackknife on you. If you hold it up here like this, you could really overcompensate and that's where people get themselves in a whole lot of trouble and jackknife all over the boat ramp. And uh, you know, you never wanna be the guy that everybody's sitting in their lawn chairs kind of observing and making comments about when you're backing up your kayak. So it's always better to hold the wheel down at the bottom just like this because that's about the extent that you could turn. And remember, you want very small incremental adjustments as you back up these little trailers. And all right, fish lots, if you're getting value out of this video, make sure to smash that like button so this could spread to other fish lots out there who may need assistance backing up some smaller fishing trailers. All right, let's get back into the video. And all right, now we're getting into the meat of it here. So you can tell I'm pulling up my kayak to the boat ramp and a couple of tips right here is A, you see that line right off the bow? Always secure your kayak to your car. You never want it floating away in the middle of the river. That's just gonna be a terrible day. So you can see right there I pulled up and what I did was I'm pulling actually further in front of the boat ramp to straighten out my kayak. That's gonna be very important because you don't wanna start off jackknifed as you back your kayak into the boat ramp. And here we go, backing it up and you could already tell I'm making little small incremental changes just as I said before, there you go, the kayak's starting to swing. So I'm just gonna keep slowly backing it up, making changes as I go along. And as the old Navy SEAL saying goes, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So remember Johnny Fish a lot quoted Navy SEALs here on how to back up your kayak tutorial. But you can tell this is gonna get in nice and smooth. I don't actually stop moving the car at any point. I'm always backing it up, I'm just doing it slowly and carefully and the kayak is gonna get in just fine just like this and really it's just as simple as that just by opening up the trunk right there giving yourself a clear line of sight with the kayak you can back up your kayak this easily and hey launching your small fishing craft whether that's a kayak or other small boat won't really do you much good unless you can catch some fish right so make sure to click on this end card where i show you some helpful tips and tricks on how you could catch some more fish thanks for tuning in fish lots i'll see you out there on the water